If you don't take action on the thing that you believe in to be your path course, you'll be you'll be denying a future prosperity, <laughs> literally because you didn't take take the opportunity to do the thing that you were most passionate oh, about. Oh, of course. So in the process of like before that, like it's a, f- a three year period before that, I'm still doing digital work. Mm. I branded like I'd say. That not to be biased, but I'd say 50% of the UK ca- cannabis products um, in the UK, I've branded 50% of them. Really? Yeah. I, uh, and that's not to be biased. Yo, talk about Carp DM. Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official you need the Kellervision app. 24 7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Yo, Nolan Poland Records for underground classics. NolanPolandRecords.com. Beatbox created. Talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Yeah, what's good? Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London, or essential as you need to be, desire to be. It's deeper than you think. Big shout to everybody that has been following us on the journey. Hold tight, pirate.com, 24 7 music, podcasts, and dance studios all across the UK. Big shout out to strainstation.co.uk, hold tight, no Poland records.com, and all of the f- affiliates. Uh, anyone that's got the television app, you know what it's doing, where it is. Hit Android, iPhone, free download for all your sporting art, street culture, sports. Listen, it ain't just about graphics, it's about music, it's about b boy, it's about sound clashes, it's about DJ culture, it's the works, and it's all there for you. A drop of a download. Yo! We have a gentleman inside the place today that is approaching 20, in fact it is, 20 years in the game. Would you Adam and Eve it? Not to fail in the mentioning that he is such a diverse artist, an all-rounder, 360, that is embarking on new strengths and uh, advances in his uh, creative journey that it just had to be time. Had to be time to get him on board. And I'm a fucking fan. 1 T P S P A G G. He'll run the numbers up. This is Ames inside the place. <laughs> nice one, my man. Nice one. Hey, how are you, my brother? <laughs> all good, all good, all good. Nice to be here. Nice to be here. It's an oh, honor. It's an honor. It doesn't do you justice, my brother. It doesn't do you justice. I mean, 20 years in the game, and, and uh, Jesus, that, that, that must fly, huh? Yeah, to be fair, it's been, a, it's been a mad one from the start to the. To, to, well, there ain't a finish yet, but yeah, it's been a bad one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they, these things never tend to finish, even when you want them to. There's always something that creeps up back around and says, oh, that sounds, that sounds pretty good, I'll do that. Yeah, literally, literally. I, I mean, you do a lot of stuff, and, and I think this is going to be a really insightful episode because everyone's going to know your uh, your pieces uh, up and down, uh, the um, from motorways to, uh, to to track sides to, uh, to, to walls <laughs> on yeah. high streets, you know? Um, you've really been smacking the coverage recently. Yeah, it's been an experience. So, um, yeah, recent experiences, to be fair, I just thought sort of uh, my time to uh, reunite the scene and uh, sort of reimburse my name back to, uh, like I said, I'm not saying like I was a sort of a OG or proper really recognised name like back in the day, but I've been through the stages and I've met many people and I know many, many graphers mm. and I started with the likes of Knees, Chalk, EB, Akel and like legal walls at like the age of 14, so... Man, people sleep on... Um, Akel, man, like, <coughs> he was such a... All that T- THC lot, right? T- yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. great, man. That was an era of defining and DPM as well, like you say. Correct, you know? yeah, correct. So like when I was 14, being with these like sort of writers and I didn't I didn't really know what was at the time was legal or illegal if you get what I mean. So I was still sort of young. Mm. That's going back to like 2002. So when I started writing with them and sort of like in like that sort of what I thought was I didn't know was illegal. Well say for instance Pig's Alley or Felt and Bowls and that's going back yeah 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 long. Um it was sort of just sort of like a cherished experience. Sort of, and I thought, like, I've got a, a day where 
painted with knees, chalk. I remember it like to the sort of like the day I kind of die sort of thing. And that was the day I sort of was like, that's it. That's it. You just you, you just took you away. Yeah, literally. That I mean, was it. I don't took... think you got who, who who wouldn't be taken yeah, away? Yeah, yeah. That you... was that was that was back two thousand and four. Like I say. So how um, old were you then? Uh, fourteen, fifteen. Fourteen or fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Born into the game, man. Literally, yeah. Even it goes back even further. Like I say, I showed you a picture earlier with. Um, oh yeah, this is this is some this is some inside <laughs> shit. I showed you a picture in like my uncle's bedroom, like the age yeah. of three. Yeah, yeah. Holding a baseball bat with all like graffiti around me, so it was just like embedded in me from early, early. Like it, it was just subliminal message. Yeah, yeah. Without even realizing the bit. This picture. It, you know the grain holds all the qualities and hallmarks of um, of, of an era, but then there, there's you, you know, fair haired boy of no more than what fucking four or five with a ba- with a baseball bat, and then behind you is nothing but tags, tags, like Luke, the yeah. whole bedroom had been bombed the fuck out. It's uh, yeah. So like when I look at them pictures now, like it's obviously. You don't look at them when you're younger because mm. they're they're not they're not visible until like say for instance, the people who was taking the pictures are aware of what you do now. Mm. So then they get shown to you like at a later date, and you're like, "That's fucking why." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this is why. This, is, this, this explains it. Do you all. blame me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this explains it all. That's there's 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 no way to about it. <laughs> so yeah, that sort of it sort of started like like I said. I'd say, like, the day was at Pig's Alley when I was painting with knees and it was just a surreal experience at that age. Yeah. And um, going into school the weekend after, but only being in year eight, if it, like, so you can work out what age it is. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm walking around with an art folder, but with, say, I think I had... It was a chalk, like, sort of... It was, I can't remember the colours. It was, mm. like, turquoise, greens, etc. and it was, like, yellow. But it was like a proper picture, but it was in the corner of my like art folder, like big A3 art folder. And I had a run for cover, which was um done by I believe Vizzo. Rest his soul. Oh, and P. Vizzo. Wow. And uh he's 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 like my uncle, so he's he's the the father of my like my cousin Molly, so EB. Um I'll tell you, yeah, he does a uh, like three D type stuff, but that's who the original wall was. It was a massive run for cover. A character I ever sent, I ever end. I'll get the picture up for you. I'll get yeah, the actual man. picture. We need to see this. Sort of um, yeah. And then I had that in my art folder, so I sort of like walking around school, etc. Bear in mind, I'm in year eight. I've just started the school type thing. Mm. No one, no, no one knows I can graph. You know, like I'm like in the, I'm like sort of new to the school. And then to come across, um, which was five, big up five. Big up five, old tight. Which was two years above me at the time, so he's in year 10. Nice. And realised I graphed. And then he sort of like, at the time, took me under his wing. Can I ask you at this point? Because obviously, aside from the obvious that <sighs> you, you had influence within your family. Yeah, yeah. What was it like? Not many people experience this from a school placement where you actually meet another writer in those environments. What was it like when you first met someone else? Within your school, within that kind of conformity, you meet someone else that is totally into what you do and it isn't, re- so isn't regularly broadcast. It's quite surreal, to be fair, because at the time, Fai was a real respected person like not just for graffiti just for who he was as a person right so and that was an early age as well so he's like say 15 mm. 16 and like and he was because it was year 10 at school so and that's going back like i said 2004 that 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 period there so like so it was quite surreal so when you got the likes of he didn't write five at the time he wrote gazer <laughs> okay and then transitioned from Gazer to another word was annoy, and then to five. And uh, that sort of, but I'll go back to like sort of like the actual meeting him, and it was sort of surreal because the people who I was writing with was the people he was, was looking up to to write with. Do, do, mm-hmm. do you kind of get what I mean? So he was taken back 
by me, who was a lot younger, but I was writing. Mm. I didn't know it was legal or illegal, mm. like, like I said, or mm. illegal at the time, but I was still writing with these people at these places. So yeah. he was sort of taken back too. And he was like, you're, you're with us now, like kind of type thing. Yeah, yeah, that's the way it should be. One thing that I've noticed about writers is that to be um, inducted into a circle of writers, the only thing the writers kind of need to know is you're going to go the distance. Because with going oh, the distance, yeah, yeah, yeah. your style gets better the of more course. distance you go, right? So it's all about tenaciousness. Of course. So like, when I sort of like... That's when it sort of come about where I started. Instead of I was kind of I was a naughty I was kind of a naughty kid anyway. Like I've got ADHD, so I was always non-stop, regardless. Mm. So at that sort of time, instead of what I was doing, I'll say for instance, I was just going out like random graffiti walls with these other writers, and then on say for instance after school, I was just like fucking about in the park. But and then it went from fucking about in the park to going out with five and other so-called writers but there's no point yeah. really mention them because it sort of like stopped after a couple of years okay. other than other than i'd say messy five and there's another guy nemo um who we sort of continued writing if you say mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um but the others didn't but we like we i remember nemo i, I remember yeah we like scratched like, every like yeah. front window of the 118 bus the 60s yeah. from Croydon to Streatham. I'll talk myself, Croydon. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, where yeah, real yeah. time is. Come Every on. front window was big scratch years. <laughs> but it weren't just from one selective writer. It was from all, all different. We used to, like, go on the buses, jump on the backs and, you know, like, tear up the buses, basically, and shit like that. But, um... Golden years. And not to repeat it again, yeah. don't try this at home. It's this nice little story, you understand? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it was a bit different back then. Yeah, we don't condone this business. Yeah, it was definitely a bit different back yeah. then. Yeah, well, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Jesus. Um, I remember the slams shut doors of the oh, trains. Yes, exactly. They got brutalised. Oh, from that? Wimbledon. Yeah, yeah, Whoa. definitely. I was, I was, yeah, hanging out the sides, like, like <laughs> risking your life, hanging outside of a door to catch an outside roof. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. like, literally risking your life, but... And then the wind, another train's coming past the other way and you're like, the gusp of wind Yo. and you have to pull yourself back in. That ain't my life. That ain't about <laughs> that, bro. I mean, I, to be fair, as a, as a young buck of my time when I saw that sort of stuff, I, I just... You, uh, Fib said it on his podcast. You immediately felt like you were part of a scene just by having seen it. Do oh, you know what I mean? Of course, that's real still. Yeah, it's still there, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that's real still. Like, today's one's different. It's totally... It's, it's, Bit of plastic, it's, it's fucking. You reckon? Yeah, it's totally different. Totally different. You'd rather paint something back then than what uh, what's there now. Is uh right. okay? Well, this is speaking from experience, <laughs> clearly. Um, so what do you do? Are you sensing a, a differentiation between the two? No, of course. Obviously, like not 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 saying the work because hats off. Yeah, I mean, it's go and go, yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go go and do what you're doing, but the, the just the 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 finished product. Mm. The finished oh, product yeah. back then would 100% look better if we had today's colours. Well, yeah, and here's the thing, isn't it? Because, like, <laughs> hindsight's twenty twenty, and and I, I also have this romantic idea that... And this goes... We're sticking to the script, because yeah, yeah. it does go back to the era you're talking about and the time in which you came up. Um, uh, uh, it was a, such a greater level of um, commitment so far as, well, if we haven't got that colour then we'll have to make that colour. If we haven't got that cap, we need to find that cap. cap. If we haven't got these... You know what I mean? It's, I was getting, it's when, 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 Exactly. When I started venturing out, like, it's, it's weird to say now. Like, so I'm not really a big build, but I was getting, I was getting my parents to buy me bigger clothes so I could rack, I could rack mm -hmm. like, paint, mm -hmm. going to Halfords and stuff. And, like, and that was the part of getting up. I'm not, like, not saying like, I fucking batted it because I, di I, I didn't, but I walked the tracks from Streatham to Clapham, casual, and I've still got things on there now from 04. Geezer, at one, at no point, right, did your uncle, who was probably casually <laughs> sitting there watching Brookside or some shit, Hollyoaks, did he not at any point see you walk out with a fucking big, fucking wide awake jumper and everyone turned around and said, you know what he's going to do, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but it's silly when you look about it. Now, I'm a, I'm, like, I'm a small foot, but I used to get bigger trainers because I used to roll up a sock and buff out the tongue. Like, I used to call it a buffer. I used to have a big X and I used to... <laughs> Put a big, like big rolled up sock down the front, but my trainers are two sizes too Some big OG for me. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally with a floppy nightcap. 
like floppy peak climber fit mm. was like I've still got one now indoors. Like, but these are the lengths you had to go back in the day to attain the level of um, standard and quality that you wanted to put out. It's like you had to go. It was all the build behind the scenes. It was everything that you had to do. Each one was a craft. Oh, of course. Even even like even worrying about getting your hat taken off your head was a craft. <laughs> <laughs> especially gra- especially growing up where I grew up on th- 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 like, that's a dirty that's a dirty couple of miles stretch like like back in the day it's horrible like from Croydon all the way down to Brixton that was not a nice place to live back then really yeah it was ho- like yeah, it was a horrible place I mean I'm aware of these but yeah, give, yeah. Me s- give me some scenarios in which you c- kind of encountered some I oh, just even like say for instance going to Shams like in, in in Brixton Station and you mm. was worried about the like the PDC boys being outside with you like you thinking are they gonna take my paint? Do mm. I even wanna leave the shop? Mm. It's just stupidness, do you know what I mean? It's being a young boy, and especially a white boy, like in that area, like so I I look super I looked super young as well. So, you know, like I I look kinda of timid being that young. So it's like I was kind of a victim if you get what I mean. Like just for just for the any public being that young coming mm. out of Brixton Market. So it's kind of what, at that time it was kind of a evacuation yeah, type yeah. of a mission. Dust quick. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah, yeah. It was like it's like quick on your toes type thing. Until like we started going there when I started going there with like the graph crew as such, which at the time was called DBI. Um the bomb icon the bomb icons. Nice. DBI old time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wicked. It was quite known, like, to be fair, like even when we started rewriting again, like so I stopped for a very long period. I started writing in 2002 and stopped in 05 and didn't touch spray can until 2012. Really? So why was that? You went inside as well, didn't you, for a bit? Yeah, yeah. So well, we'll, get to that. we'll get to that in a second. So let's just go back to the, 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 the era of Brixton and how that shaped you, like you said. I don't know. I did, so it sort of moulded me to who... So who I am now is different to who I am then, but it's still moulded to me to who I am now. Do you, you, you kind of get that? Yeah, for you. So... Well, there's no mistakes, is there? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, so, you are who you are and you're here for a reason. So, like, growing up in that era, in that, like, area, yeah. was it's, it's a ruthless period, so... And there was no CCTV, do you know what I mean? So, like, you could do what you wanted, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, riding down the road with mopeds with no helmet on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't, you don't really see that now, like... It's true stories, man. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of there was especially with South, like you know WK and all them boys. Oh yeah, you know this is and there was more than you know the it it was it was a culture for it and I don't I I don't think I don't think it ever left. Um, yeah, which, no, which it has salute the Dons, um, but a lot of people would put it down to the camera work and how. But I don't think it's the cameras neither. It's just a different attitude. More it's, things of it's, it's more lenient now, isn't it? It's a yeah. lot lenient. I like I wouldn't be doing what I was doing now like now if it wasn't wasn't a lenient because what I'm doing now you couldn't do back then like you could yeah. in a way but you're getting chased down the road do you kind mm. of get what I mean as whereas now I was going tolerated oh, yeah how was that mate yeah are you supposed to be doing that yeah no not really but yeah it's like it's a bit weird it's different isn't it do you think some of it is and big up Sham you know that's my fucking guy um, there was a it was an it was a revised idea of how you do graph because the products suddenly came in that that said, "Yo, you are allowed to do this because we're an official paint brand." Oh and yeah, of course. do you know what I mean? It's almost like, well, these are tools it's, now. It's, it's, sort of, it's still sort of seen as acceptable instead of using hammerite and stone chip and yeah. like uh, the little plastic. I can't remember the little color ones. The uh, yeah, there's one in there. I know. Oh, fuck you know it. exactly yeah, what I'm on about. Yeah, with the, with the Ford Escort car on it. You know? <laughs> I forget the name of the fucker. Yeah. But yeah, it's exactly that one. But you, you, it's the difference. The, the the quality of paint is so different, and the color range is. It's, it's yeah. you've get you've they you've we've been given tools to do the freedom. Yeah. As whereas we didn't have tools. Before like and shit was expensive as well, so no wonder oh. you were getting you know people were getting gripped outside the, for its time. It's like oh the people was taking them didn't even want the paint. No, no, nah, they didn't want the paint. They're not. They're, they would. They didn't want. They didn't want to sort of. They they would like take your phone out your pocket as well as the paint or your hat off the head. Yeah. Like I, I think it's quite weird, isn't it? Like I think a hat 
Like, it's a honey trap, wasn't it? Yeah, I think hats used to get taken quite a lot back then, to be fair. It was quite a weird thing to get taken off your head. I think yeah, your that new was the, era hat. Just yeah, got... yeah, it was the, that was the first thing what was gone. Mm. And then your pockets are out. As, mm. as, as, a, as a young kid, do you kind of get what I mean? It was yeah, weird. I like, I went through it. I, like, I did get robbed, like, like, but it's, it is what it is kind of thing, isn't it? It's growing up in that era, of, like, like, and that area, but... Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Uh, and, and it could happen anytime, anywhere, innit? You know, so be careful out there, everybody. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, and big up the soldiers, big up the originals, all the dons out there. Because, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, this episode is definitely dedicated to you and of the southern southern sector. Yeah, definitely. Um, where you grew up and you orbited and a lot of your work between that era of 2000, early 2000 to 2005, you say, was where you were really I've cutting still got, chops. Yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's quite surreal. Uh, on the train the other day and I go past the wall which has actually still got a piece from 2004. God, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, so, and I put it Ugh. up on my story and um, I had a couple of inboxes about the wall because there's like vamp on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, wait a minute. Is this on the way of Croydon? On, on, on route just, to... Just by Stratton Common. There's yeah, like a big wall, yellow wall. Yeah, I know it. But originally, me and Five, we put the ladder there. There was a ladder there. So I don't know if it's still there. But there was a ladder there. We put the ladder there. It got buffed. It got buffed years ago. Whether or not they kept the ladder, yeah, yeah, a whole different conversation. But so when when it got buffed, me and Five went there. So, and then we like, in the process of going there, we we took it. We we went over a garden, hopped over a garden, took a ladder, and then took it to the spot, but didn't take it back with us. So, it's probably why every other piece is up there. That's fucking sick. Yeah, I think there should be more ladders in locations where. You know what I mean? Where you can paint. I just think that's like... Yeah, you know literally. I mean? Yeah, that would, that, would be a, that would be a good one. So what made you go into jail? Um, I'm a trained fighter, to be fair. So I had a bit of an incident in my life where I got into a bit of a scuffle with a bouncer, but, yeah, it fucking put me in a bit of a position. So sort of... It's an awkward one, because it's not sort of... It, it hit the press, so I don't really want to... Indulge too much. Yeah, exactly. Because, mm, okay. yeah, it sort of, yeah, it did. It like, hit the BBC News and fucking that bollock. So, really? Yeah, it's a bit sounds, of a, yeah, it's a, bit of a touchy sounds, one. Sounds fucking full on. Yeah, so it's a bit of, yeah. I was away for a little while, yeah. Yeah. A couple of years. Um, when coming back out, did you, was it the case that you were like primed, ready to go back into graph, or was this a. Bec- no, I didn't even sketch, would you believe it or not? Really? Two and a half years behind the bar and you don't, and behind the bars and you fucking. Didn't sketch. Yeah, but, but these sorts of things really give you life re reevaluation, doesn't it? It's not like, oh, well, I'm inside, I might as well just go and sketch. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's, there's a lot yeah, do you going know what? on. You got, you like, I didn't really have all the time in the world. So, like, the first six months, there was a lot of bang up, and I did have all the time in the world. But I weren't in a state of mind to sit there and do whatever I wanted to do. But yeah. going into a sentence, I just, I ended up having no time because mm. I was constantly busy. So, yeah, like I did, I did, yeah, like I said, I didn't even sketch mm. at all. What made me come out and graph was Chrome and Black opening by Brick Lane. That's a that was a beautiful spot as well. The one next to the guitar shop, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, bang on the high street. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember going in there a couple of times. So that is that is literally. So I come out just um, the end of two thousand and nine, and I didn't paint till two thousand and twelve. So like properly, but mm. obviously we start as five was like we was getting the bug through it, mm. like through the to, like of the shop opening, and he was like, obviously we're not gonna rob paint, are we? He's like we're fucking, it's past that now. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Way past that. So um, he was like, let's go to the shop. So and then um, yeah, that that was it. The, the, the sort of the rest was history from then till two thousand and sixteen. Mm. But I weren't really, like, prolific out there. I'd do the odd tag here and there, but my work was present in that mm. stage. Mm-hmm. And I, I'd I, agree with that. I would, yeah. I would also add value to that. In, the, in, the, in terms of your name and when you did paint, it, you, you gave it the prime location and the, the skills were there. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it always was on the wall and for readily available people to want to see it. Yeah, I appreciate I mean? that. It was back appreciate back. that. But I also think it's the stock that the people that you would be rolling with back in the day, you know what I mean? Yeah, so like when me and Five sort of went out and we done like, like we said, we'd done something. We went to Leak Street. We didn't even know these places existed. Must have blown your fucking oh, mind, bro. Th- th- yeah, exactly. We didn't, like I said, I didn't know Pig's Alley and Felton Bowls was a legal place back then. Mm. But 
So to like go forward all these years and still not knowing these places existed yeah. was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I still didn't know that was a legal place. It's mad. It's almost like time stood still in, in the pen. And then when you come out, it's like, Jesus, what? Oh, yo, look at all this. <laughs> yeah, li- <laughs> literally, literally, literally that. So then like being from the area like me and five was... And, and Messi, because Messi started coming out again. He's 1T, he's at MZ, hold OSA, tight. like, like he's, he's got credentials out there, Messi. Fucking yeah. hold tight OSA as well. Fucking wicked crew, Yeah, they? yeah. Big up Learn, yeah. big up Fraud. Bonza, Renza, yeah, yeah. all of them. All of them lot. Definitely. That they, they sort of, they rep they, they rip that era Ditto, as well. Ditto, Yeah, yeah. He's a good lad. Dons. He's a good lad, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good peoples. So, like, when, so then I, we, like, encountered close and... Hour and uh, the shots, themes, and then it was like a whole new era started. Mm. Mm. And so that yeah, that was surreal. That's when that's the era when I become PS and uh, going to Alfresco Dave with Met and Crept, like one of the first people to like paint the train when he had the inside train. Like me, Met Crept, and um, Close. Casually dropping the CBM. <laughs> <laughs> big up, big up, crept and yeah. bet and then Yeah, that, that was a surreal period, that period. Yeah, that's, a, that's some pinch yourself shit, no? Yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was, it was. Like, we, I drove up there personally, it was me, I drove us all up there. And uh, we'd like, we'd done the London Underground train, it, it, fucking look, it did look really good to be fair, like we smashed it. Some place I've never been, I've never been up there to, to see the paint or the it, train or anything. It's a good little spot to be honest, yeah. like, it's, a, it's a good spot to do where, have freedom and... I don't know if he's got the inside trains no more. No. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure, no. But um, I went back up there as well with Vamp, Defy, Mob and Name mm. and Hour. And then Dems randomly pops up. Whoa. Yeah, so... Dems is a bad man. Vamp, did you say who else was there? Defy. Defy, hold tight, Defy. Mob. Mm-hmm. Mob. And Name. Name 26? Yep. My name fucking guy. Yeah. <sighs> God, that's, that's, that's not a that's not a day out. That's not a picnic. <laughs> that's not a picnic day out in my book, mate. That's a that's, that's I'll some heavy hitters. I think we went there 2014. Like, I've still got all the pictures as well for them. Like they're, like they're good days. So like obviously I was getting noticed in like for for work in that period because of the like the people I sort of affiliating with. Did you kind of get what I mean? Like, yeah, big time. Yeah. So and then again, I just sort of it's 2016 come. I just again stopped. What's the reason this time? So, um, I started partying and uh, travelling. I went, I lived in Colombia, I stayed there, I lived in the jungle. What I've was done... it was Colombia like? Oh, f- what, a, what a country. Yeah, I can imagine. What a country. It's, it's totally different, like, from going to different places as well. So, like, Colombians just not Latino. Like, yeah, no. So, C- Colombians got, like... Dreads, but they speak Spanish. Yeah. So it's 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 so it's so surreal. So it depending what part you go to, but you, it's a good experience. Like I personally didn't want to come home. Yeah. What made you come home? Um, I don't know. Like, like I've, I sort of had to come home, sort of. And it got to the time after I was I was there for six weeks. So it got to the sort of time where, you know, like enough's enough. I got my pa- I, my pal lives out there, so as well. So like he ain't coming home. He never like, say never. Yeah, yeah. So I, I could end up back there. What's the, the graph, gra- what's the graph scene like over there? Massive. Yeah, I get that impression. Massive. Yeah. Like, everywhere. Medellin, you can just paint. Really? Yeah. So you literally can just paint. Oh, okay. Obviously, they don't tolerate street tags and stuff like that. Yeah. But if you want to do, like, a, like a so-called commission, yeah. just paint it. Wow. So, you know, 2016 almost was the, the era defining... Street art scene that that took fruition. I think. Excuse me, one sec. Man. Yeah, man. I think uh, I think um, Olympics played a big part in that. So and I kind of messed up with that. That's when I stopped. Uh-huh. All right, I'll t- I'll t- yeah. We'll get to get you to the microphone. 